The cream can be made of various different bases. One of the most common bases is a Versapro base. Um, some creams in the past may have been made with lotions that were Versapro lotions, not Versapro base. So what does that mean? They basically have different components, some vitamin E, some different liposomal parts of a base to help hold the testosterone under the, the layers of the skin so that it creates a, a reservoir under the skin. So welcome to the world of testosterone cream and testosterone cream in a particular container called Topiclick. So Topiclick is a particular brand quite popular in America and Topiclick claims to be one of the most precise and accurate dosing meters available or dosing containers available. So what does that mean dosing? When you're on a testosterone cream, it's not enough to just give you a jar and a spoon, though that could be done. It used to be done. That's how I used to get my cream. But rather these new modern devices, the Toppy Click being one of them, helps meter out your dose. So the testosterone is prepared specifically for you, the individual patient, based on your prescription. The average dose of testosterone would be anywhere from 37.5 milligrams per click. And each click has 0.25 milliliters, around 0.25 grams, all the way to 50 milligrams per click for that same volume of cream. And the cream can be made of various different bases. One of the most common bases is a Versapro base. Um, some creams in the past may have been made with lotions that were Versapro lotions, not Versapro base. So what does that mean? Specific proprietary creams that come from uh, various suppliers of the creams that support compounding pharmacies like, like the Hormonist, uh, the pharmacy that has prepared this cream. And they, they basically have different components, some vitamin E, some different liposomal parts of a base to help hold the testosterone under the, the layers of the skin so that it creates a, a reservoir under the skin. You see, in the old, old days of testosterone replacement therapy, when topicals were first becoming popular, well before the testosterone gels was were the testosterone patches. And in those days, the patch actually held the testosterone and then the testosterone would seep in through your skin and then get into your bloodstream. But because technology has moved on and has been since probably the, the late 90s, there are bespoke creams. And these creams have certain penetrating abilities to allow the testosterone to move through the cream base, get into your capillary bed, into your, into your bloodstream, kind of gets held there in your, in your uh, dermal layer as a reservoir, which then leaches into your bloodstream little by little. It's almost like a subcutaneous injection, to be fair, without having to deal with the needles. Uh, one of the best areas for application of the creams is your scrotum because the scrotal skin is so much thinner. And so you want a cream that's not going to burn your scrotum. And creams that use the cream stroke gel base called Trevis or Atrevis may tend to burn the scrotum more. Now we've had other videos, but if you want to watch them above with Dr. Keith Nichols and myself, we talk about different cream bases. Another cream base is HRT base. Um, but one of the most successful creams he also talks about is the, the benefit of the Versa bases. So Versa Pro cream, Versa Pro lotion. The cream is what most Americans use. And we also use a particular mixing agent to get the testosterone powder into, into solution, which helps keep it very, very smooth uh, and not, not too wet, but not too dry. But some patients who had used another agent like propylene glycol have not necessarily been used to the ethoxyglycol. The benefit of the ethoxyglycol is you get a much longer time before your product expires. So like I said, each of the creams are made bespoke for the patient. The pharmacist makes the batch according to a proprietary formulation that has been reviewed and assessed for longevity. And then uh, um, it's been confirmed that this, the length of time, the sell by date is expanded uh, as a result of this proprietary formulation. And so we try to stick with that formulation to give you the best, the best product of testosterone cream available. So one of the things a lot of patients get confused of is when they receive their cream, what does it look like? You want to know what to expect. We don't prime your cream ahead of time at the pharmacy. And the reason being is if we primed it, as soon as you open up the cap, 
it would potentially ooze out. So a lot of patients are also confused what, what they need to do. So if you get your, your toppy click cream, you need to click it as many times like this as needed until it's ready to be primed. And you might click 20 times. It's completely natural. It's completely normal. Like I said, the reason why we're not, there we go. The reason why we haven't pre-primed it is if we had it primed ready to open, it would have squirted out and you, you wouldn't be happy. So, so this dose on here, I don't know if you can see, that dose on there, that is essentially your one click. Now be aware that if you wipe off the one click and there's some testosterone that might ooze out, that's also part of your dose. So don't be confused if you click it and some still oozes out. Usually it could be, your dose would normally be two clicks. So I clicked it once and I'm clicking it again, giving it time to, to ooze out. That's what the manufacturer says. I emailed the manufacturer, that's what they confirmed with me. And then you would apply the cream. And then when you apply the cream, it's to your scrotum, not to your arm, though you can apply it to your arms. Um, again, you can see a little bit still coming out and you can just wipe it and then reapply, making sure that you really rub in and apply your cream fully so that you're getting the maximum, the maximum benefit. And it, when it absorbs, I don't know if you can see on my, on my hand, it really, you really have to rub it in. Obviously you might have to put on a large surface area, but it, it's quite smooth. It dries rather quickly, but you, 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 do, you do have to rub it in because if you don't rub it in, it's not going to get into your bloodstream and it's just going to sit there. And so, you know, it's partly the responsibility of the patient to make sure that you apply the cream properly and then you let it dry. So you let it dry. Again, I'm doing my, I'm doing my scrotum on the camera. That'd be ridiculous. And you can see there's still a little bit left. Again, the manufacturer said you can just simply wipe it off and that's, that's part of your dose and, and add it a bit. And that's completely normal to do in a toppy click. So that's really it. Until the next time you can put the cap back on it. I know some people have used this to uh, apply, apply the cream, you know, but uh, uh, Dr. Keith Nichols had recommended just use your finger because if you use your fingers, then you're able to apply to a hairless area. Now, if you have hair, as you can see on my arm, you will get a little bit of residue on the hair, which is why it's important to shave the scrotum. Because if you shave the scrotum, it's not gonna get stuck into the hair. If you see on the bit of my arm where there is no hair, it didn't, you know, it, it, it didn't stick, stick to the hair. So that's quite common. It doesn't have something to be aware of. The formulations are, are made, like I said, to a certain standard that gives it a long, a long shelf life and it gives a consistency that's really the standard across across the USA. We, are, we do understand that you know some compounding locations have used Versa base, but may have used the lotion instead of the cream. We have all those available at, uh, at the Hormonist Pharmacy, but we send, think the, the cream base works the best. That's what's used through a lot of compounding pharmacies in the USA with great, great success. I think that's what Dr. Keith Nichols recommends for his patients. And we also have the HRT base available as well. And maybe in the next video, we'll do a demonstration video on the HRT base. But for now, if you're a patient and you've received the testosterone cream, just wanted to reassure you that whilst your cream is bespoke and, 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 and the more testosterone that's in your cream, the potentially thicker it'll be. And we have ways to thin out that cream a bit more so that you have an ease of application that the best option for toppy click is really no more than 50 milligrams uh, per click and then you would just apply two clicks depending on on your dose and usually the doses would be two clicks twice a day so i hope that helps and i'm glad you were able to answer any questions that you had if you have further questions please leave them in the in the comments or if it's not on youtube if you have further questions please contact us at balance for hormones and we'll be happy to uh, address any questions that you have uh, on behalf of the, of the compounding pharmacy.